Hey, welcome everyone. Tom here, Park Avenue Trading, with another edition of the Trader Chronicles. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming to take a visit. And also, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. Please hit the like button, because Google loves that like button. And don't forget to ring the bell, so that you'll get um, notifications of when I put out one more of uh, some more content for you guys. Okay, so... Let me set the table for you here. This is going to be a story about Teddy Two Socks. And how Teddy Two Socks got his name was that being um, a very old person at the age of 27 years old and living a single life, he didn't care what color his socks were. I mean, he was able to get his suits laundered, but he had to do his own personal laundry, but he never cared what color. So he would come in with brown and red and green and yellow, what, you know, just making it a point to make that. That's where he got the nickname from. He never wore the same color socks. Sometimes he even wore athletic socks. So the story is really centered around Teddy Two Socks. Now, let me set the table for you here. At the end of every trading day, we had um, a, a debrief with Aldo. And this is where Aldo got to pontificate on whatever he thought uh, the marketplace should be doing. Okay, so he had his macroeconomic view, and um, you know he was uh, an incredibly magnetic type of personality. I, I think I stated that before. So he had very good reasons for what his views were, and one of his main views was that you know dollar Swiss is impossible that the dollar should really be losing ground to the Swiss franc. He used to always say this constantly every day every day and every day the dollar would kind of go down and uh, you know and at the time the dollar sissy was uh, 137 now think about it today it's 0.97 so obviously that macroeconomic view was totally wrong but what he would always say was that this thing is going to bottom out you know, one day I'm fed up with this dollar Swiss. This is ridiculous. The Swiss franc, a country with two cows and a watch. It's impossible they compete with uh, the U.S. dollar, this and that. And every day he would be hammering this, you know. So now that I set the table for you in the stage, um, I want to go over with you exactly what happened in dollar Swiss. Okay. Um, dollar Swiss uh in the Asian and in the European session, uh, when, I, when we left in New York at 5 o'clock, it was trading around 137.80. Uh, in the European Asian session, when it came down, they traded dollar Swiss down to 134.90. So it's at this point, now New York is it's around 135.50.55. Fifty, okay, so it's recovered off the low. And that low also happened to be... Um, almost a monthly low it almost hit a monthly low at uh, 134 the figure so it just was slightly above the monthly low it started coming up off the monthly low so in new york we're trading around 135 say 60 and out of nowhere the marketplace starts rallying and it's rallying in big bit uh, big chunks you know it's going 70 bid uh 136 90 bid you know uh, 137 bid Okay, 137, figure 10, 20 euros. You hear the broker screaming, 20 euros. Now, I'll explain the vernacular later. So, people were selling it at, uh, at the figure, okay? 137, the figure. So, the marketplace comes back, 136, 90, 95, 90, 95, 95, paid, figure bid, figure given. Okay, 90, 95, 90, 95, 85, 90, 90, paid, 90, 99. And I hear Teddy Two Socks go, 8 million mine at 99. I was like, wow, he's buying like, you know, just like 11 pips off the high right now of this session, right? No, now, okay, that's not an issue, okay, because obviously he's got a plan, right? So anyway, as soon as he buys, of course, what happens? The marketplace starts going offered, 90 offered, 80 offered, 60, 90, 60 given on 136. He's long at 136.99, 136.30, 40. Given at, at, at uh, 30, 30 offered, 15, 30, 20, 30, 20 given. Dollar Swiss is just collapsing again. It, as fast as it rose up, the marketplace was taking Dollar Swiss down. Now, when I looked over at Teddy, I, I'm like, what the F, uh, you know, is going on with you? You know, he goes, he was like shell shocked. He was, first of all, he was trading like a different person. He was making like, silly like mistake, like no professional trader. If you miss the move up, 
You know, you miss the move. You 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 got to, you know, if, unless you have orders to deal with, then you then you go into marketplace and you execute your orders. But he didn't have orders. He had nothing really in dollars with. Okay, so he looked at me, he says, like, what do you think? And I'm saying, I think that you screwed, dude. I think I think you screwed in this. Okay. So I said, he goes, well, well, he goes, if I close this thing down now, Aldo's gonna kill me. I'm down, you know, a hundred points on eight million bucks. You know, I'm I'm like, yeah, but it could get worse, right? So he goes, Well, what would you do? I said, I would leg into a cross. So I was scanning the marketplace. I saw Dolly Yen. Dolly Yen was 145. 145 figure five. So I screamed over to Joey Stones in his shoes. <laughs> Give me a price on eight million dollar yen. And he said, figure five. And I said, eight yours at the figure. So I sold eight million dollar yen. Now, why did I do that? I, I legged into the cross. He was long dollar Swiss, hence short Swiss franc. I went and sold dollar yen, getting long the yen. So I put him in Swiss yen, short Swiss yen. Okay. So now, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hedge the long dollar Swiss position. So as, as soon as we hit the bid, the figure bid in dollar yen, dollar yen started coming off, which is great. That means the cross is working in our favor. Okay. So as soon as dollar yen comes down like 60 pips, 70 pips, what does Teddy Two Socks do? He buys back the $8 million yen. So he's opening up the cross again, like uh, just now being short dollar Swiss. I said, what the F are you doing? He goes, well, I think dollar Swiss is going to stabilize here and I'll take the profits in dollar yen. And then when dollar, when dollar Swiss, he comes back up, I'll sell dollar Swiss. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Close the whole trade down. Close it all down. I said, just get out. Close the dollar Swiss. You're out of dollar yen. Let's just leave that alone for right now. So. We do. And so instead of taking like a hundred and twenty five thousand dollar loss, he took a thirty seven thousand dollar loss. OK, so the cross was working. So what is the moral of the story? What 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 happened to him? Like, why did he do this? Well, he first of all, he took a tip. He was listening to Aldo. He became Aldorized because Aldo kept saying that one day it's going to hit bottom. Now it was close to the monthly low and it rallied off that monthly low. Okay, so that could have been the one day it's over and it's going to continue up and go to the, you know, the old price of 2.50 Swiss to a dollar. Okay, uh, that didn't happen in one day and it actually never happened. Dollar Swiss just kept going down. So he was alderized. He took a tip. The second thing he did was he didn't have any plan and he had a fear of missing the move. The, the move that was just a false story that he was listening to from our treasurer. He had the fear of actually missing that huge potential rally that would have put millions of dollars in his pocket. That's the second mistake. And, you know, the third mistake was not having a plan. No escape. You know, I don't care if you bought dollars Swiss at, you know, the top 137.10. That's fine. But as long as you had a plan to say, oh man, I'm, I'm, if this goes wrong, I'm going to go into a cross or I'm going to get out, you know, with, with the minimum amount of loss that I could take. So the lessons to be learned here are one, don't follow tips. You know, we all have a bias when we read something, you know, when, when you read the, the, the written word, it's very powerful subconsciously for us as people, because since we were children, you know, when we read textbooks and things, we were told like, this is the authority, man. I mean, this is like it. So like you believe what, what, what you've written, the written word's important, but also the spoken word from somebody that, um, you know, you admire is also very important and it didn't help him in any way. So one, don't take tips. Don't go again. Don't go on blogs and find stuff that suits your, you know, what you, what you want to read. Um, always have a trading plan. Always live and die by your own decisions. Okay. When you make a plan, you live and die by that plan. Okay. Not die. You stop loss. That's it. Okay. So I look forward to seeing you on the next uh, Trader Chronicles. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll, I'll see you soon. Cheers.